So I've been kind of pump faking you guys with the whole Sarah Boone situation. First it's happening in May. Now it's not happening. Then it might happen in June. Then it might happen. Listen, we don't know when it's going to happen, but we did get some breaking news, people. Sarah Boone was back in court with not her sixth, not her seventh, but her eighth lawyer. And lo and behold, guess what the problem is? They're not seeing eye to eye. The lawyer's up there saying, well, she storms out every meeting we have, so I don't know if I could effectively give her counsel. Listen, folks, it is happening. We are living in the time where we will see this happen. Sarah Boone going pro se. How much do you want to bet? Put some money in the chat, folks. Put some money in the comments. How much money are you betting? Do a friendly wager with your friends and your family because, listen, she's going to go pro se. I think the judge is going to give her one more chance. If she doesn't take this chance, she might be going by herself. So it's been brought up multiple times. Everybody's talking about it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this clip. It's pretty interesting. And when I say she is the most disrespectful convict I've seen in a while, it's kind of crazy. But anyways, folks, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and check this out. We did cover this on stream last night. So whoever did not see this, go ahead and take a gander at what's going on in court right now. It's crazy. <laughs> Judge, I've obviously not seen the letter. Um, Ms. Boone is correct. She has walked out of the last two visits when I've tried to review things with her. Just so the court knows, I've spent probably 20 hours, a little bit more, a little bit less, with Ms. Boone. She has lots of lists, lots of questions in reviewing the court file. Um, she was distressed previously about having access to her lawyers. I have taken collect phone calls from her that are at my expense. JAC doesn't reimburse you because I think it's important for clients to have access. This is super typical of Boone. I mean, this is the most typical shit she could do. All she, like, I think she wants to steamroll her way out to a guilt, to an innocent verdict. Like she thinks if she's as annoying as she can be, They'll just be like, all right, Boone, fine. You did 10 lawyers. We're just going to let you go. You did 10 lawyers. Okay. We'll just let you free. You know, sorry. Sorry for the miscommunication. Sorry for the misconception. We'll just let you go because you're, you're just a strong-willed woman. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. And she swears to God. Like, man, listen, she swears to God she's going to do something with this nagging. The only thing that's going to put this, the only thing that's going to lead her to is her representing herself. I guarantee you. I hope she does, too. It's it's looking more and more like that's going to happen. Because when I saw this lady, I thought they were going to vibe together. I thought it was going to be the first person Sarah was going to really let into her corner and we were going to see a good trial. But lo and behold, no, no, no. Out giving access to her lawyers. I have taken collect phone calls from her that are at my expense. JAC doesn't reimburse you because I think it's important for clients to have access. I have spent- on, please. No one's interrupted you this morning, Ms. Boone. As I said, I've spent over 20 hours going through her questions, going through her lists. Um, when I try to update her with regard to the depositions that I took recently, she opted to exit the jail conference. When I, love how she I says tried, she opted to exit. <laughs> like she was like, "Fuck you," and left. And I could see that. I mean, even without the alcohol, Sarah's insufferable. I used to think it was the alcohol. You know, we've been following this case for a little while now. I used to think it was the alcohol that would just make her an annoying, insufferable, insufferable piece of shit. But that's just who she is. Honestly, she's out here walking out because she don't like the way her outcome is looking. Okay, so just stay in jail for 15 years then. And then get a trial after 15 years. And then they'll give you a 30-year sentence. Well, I guess you should have got your sentence sooner, huh? She's such an idiot, bro. She opted out equals temper tantrum. Fact. Let's go. To um, review some things with regard to discovery as to... Things I'm 
wanted to make sure she was aware of, um, she walked out. She has asked me repeatedly for a copy of some medical records. Um, based on the discovery I got from the previous attorneys, the one of the copies of those medical records had her handwritten notes. So she had had a copy given to her previously. She'd reviewed them with previous attorneys. I sent her a new copy. Um, some of the things that she thinks are important from a lawyer perspective, her hips I don't attach the same importance to. And you try to explain that to a client. Um, you know, I, I know the court's in a difficult position, but at this point we're at that impasse of, if she walks out of every conference that I have with her, um, I'm, I'm not sure what that says. I'm it's official. She fucked off her eighth lawyer, folks. Basically, what is it? Irreconcilable differences? Basically that. It's not going to work. That, I mean, she, in, the very, in a very polite way, she's saying, this bitch is cuckoo for them Cocoa Puffs, and I'm not trying to represent her. Fact. So that's number eight, folks. I really thought eight was the charm, but it's not. Now, if this judge has any, I don't want to say self-respect, but it almost feels like it. If he has any self-respect or respect for the court of law, make this fucking lady represent herself or because the, the, the judge can shut all this down. He, he can be like, listen, listen here. You're staying with her in the story. So again, if he has any respect for the justice system or even for him fucking self, bro, you need to make her settle down on a lawyer. Don't matter who the fuck it is. It don't matter. I don't give a fuck. Just somebody who passed the bar. It could be an online bar exam in person. I don't care. Just saying, um, this is ridiculous. Or make her represent herself. But you have to make a choice at this point. Honestly, she's spitting in everybody's face, bro. Ma'am, you said that there was something else that you had other than a 58-page submittal or letter. What other information is it that you're seeking to have me take a look at? Um, and get ready for it. Um, so, Your Honor, that same little voice, oh my God, crazy. Let's restart that. The, the little, um, it's just so soft and kind. Man, this lady is annoying, bro. Snipe, apparently nine is the magic number for this judge. Psh. Psh. I doubt it. Honestly, I doubt it. I feel like they're just going to let her keep. She's the judge now. You know the movie Captain Felix? Look at me. I am the captain now. She's the fucking judge now. She runs that bitch. At this point, she probably runs the jail and all that shit. What other information is it that you're seeking to have me take a look at? I'm not going to waste my time ma'am your whole existence here has been a waste of time so far you could have been five years deep you could have been six years deep to like a 10-year plea deal agreement what are you talking about you fucked up honestly the more months and years that go by the more you're fucking up you should have took that shit so fast what was the first plea, plea? like 10 years or something <sighs> ma'am you've been in there for five years you're fucking up. Imagine she stays in there fighting for 10 years and then they release her with, with um, time served. Or they release her with um, her winning her trial. That would be insanity. But though with her spiteful ass, she would have still preferred that rather than take a sentence. Crazy, bro. Like, if she gets if she's in here up to year seven, she lost. She was making a mockery out of the system. But if she's in here until year seven, she's officially lost. She lost that. Abundant amounts of. She's not going to waste my time because she's not going to explain something to me. 
and I have taken it upon myself to explain it to myself because she refuses to do so. I don't understand what it is that she has against me. I have told her from day one that her snotty attitude was inappropriate, and I try very hard to bear with her and her attitude. I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong to her, but I feel that her attitude has equaled prejudice, which is not in my favor, especially considering she's supposedly representing my life. Okay. Give me an example, of, if you could. And I hate that this lawyer just seems so understanding, man. We need us a, we need us a, I don't know. What's a good lawyer? A strict lawyer. Who, who, who? I don't know. I don't know too many, not lawyers. I don't know too many judges. But we need somebody. I'm not saying he's he's a bad judge. He'll probably do a good job. But I'll tell you one thing. If this judge lets her slide and slip all through the system like the last one did, Houston, we got a problem. And I know he's seen the history. So I know you're being all understanding and you want to avoid a mistrial for whatever reason. Understand her. But at the end of this, we need a trial date because it's irritating. The YouTubers want to cover it. The people want the justice. The family's waiting. Like, wait, wait you're going to wait till Jorge's mom dies or some shit? You're, what, what are we doing? She's going to die not knowing what happens. Like, come on, get this show on the fucking road. Of items that you believe are important. Miss Cashman is not giving attention to or dismissing as you may have framed it. She's not giving me any answers to this. I've written three pages worth of questions, but I'm still waiting for her and any other attorney to actually answer for me, such as, why can't I have a bomb? Why can't I have a download of my phone? Why can't I speak to my investigator? Why can't I have my medical records? Why can't I fully utilize my constitutional rights? There's three pages worth of questions that I have. What constitutional rights, specifically? Um, I am... I'm very wary about having a fair trial at this point. Um, there are a handful of other amendments that I have been uh, researching and working on and trying to incorporate. To me, what I have written to you is obvious. And apparently from the correspondence that I get from the world, South Korea was the last place that I received correspondence. They obviously see the same thing. So. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Other than she just say her correspondence with the rest of the uh, uh, with the rest of the world. Did she just say South Korea? Am I tweaking right now? Does she feel like she's a like she's a celebrity? Hold up, hold up. Let's let's back that up real fast. Real. Did she just say South Korea? Who, who do you think you are? Do you think you're like cool? The suit. Well, I guess she is, huh? my phone, why can't I speak to my investigator, why can't I have my medical records, why can't I fully utilize my constitutional rights? There are three pages worth of questions that I have. What constitutional rights, specifically? Um, I am I'm very wary about having a fair trial at this point. Um, there are a handful of other amendments that I have been uh, researching and working on and trying to incorporate. To me, what I have written to you is obvious, and apparently from the correspondence that I get from the world, South Korea was the last place that I received correspondence. They obviously see the same thing. So Who gives a f fuck about South Korea and what they think? That's that's all I want to know. If I was the judge, I would have hit her just like that. Would the, would the fuck what? So I don't know what I'm doing wrong other than wanting to have a very successful outcome. It's just been long and drawn out, and I believe that God obviously will consider me as much as I do him in order to give me this very unique adventure that I am on, and I'm doing my best to... This bitch says she's on a fucking adventure. I love this woman. Oh, my God. Please represent yourself. Lady, ma'am, this shit would be TV magic. Rest in peace to Jorge Torres. This shit would be amazing. You thought Daryl Brooks was a train wreck? Holy shit. If she represents herself, we're going to hear some phrases that are not going to go away for a long time. We're going to hear some phrases that's just going to stick with us. 
And we're going to have the, the quote, Sarah Boone, 2024 at the bottom. Crazy. We're going to have some quotes to walk away with. We're going we're gonna to be scratching our heads like, damn, she was actually spitting, though. She was actually speaking some facts, though. Crazy. She talking out, man, listen, this lady's unhinged. You're on year five, ma'am. If you don't get this trial up and going by year six, I would say she's fucked. Let everyone know who I really am as opposed to the malicious murderer that everyone thinks that I am. I don't feel that she can do that properly. I still always, the reason why I'm here is hope, is to hope that she will come in with a gentle, softer side and actually listen to what it is that I'm saying and see the bigger picture other than what the one avenue that she keeps going down. There's other ways to win and more than one way. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not saying that I'm trying to remove her. I'm just trying to ask you, please, forgive me if I haven't asked you for this. If you could please let her know, please, to just be nice to me and have a welcoming attitude and things will... Let her know to be nice to me. This shit is not real. We're watching like a sitcom. What? Sarah. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's living out the Lord of the Rings in her head right now. Adventure, LMAO. <laughs> What's up, Francis? Man, this shit is... Uh, man, let's continue. ...probably change, and I will not get up and I walk out. I, please don't lie to me. Please don't give me half-truths. And what instances where there's been falsities or lies that have been told to you by Ms. Cashman? Can you give and me... I love how the judge is so on point. He's like, so he knows this is bullshit out of the cow's asshole itself. But he still is going to entertain it and just be like, so so what exactly did she lie to you about? Yes, let's put this on record. Yes, ma'am. Like, listen, we're not playing with no games. You're not getting no mistrials. You're not getting no nothing. He knows this is bullshit out the cow's ass. And he's still right there like, mm -hmm. yes, ma'am. All right. Let's write this down and come back to it. Like, yeah, I like him. Please just don't let her run over you. That's just my I'm I'm just hoping that doesn't happen. Because I feel like she's she'll take advantage of anything she could get her hands on. Judge, she's being mean to me. Tell her she can't do that. Bro, seriously. What's up, Tom? Me an example. My biggest one, Your Honor, is for me being here ongoing five years, no one has ever bothered to try to get me a bond. What's the lie? You said that she has lied to you. What is the lie? The process of getting a bond. She lied to my brother. Um, in regards to telling him that um, he would need to come down to the courthouse to have multiple photographs taken for documentation and he would have to bring the security information he needs to his house and everything else. And then it turns into all these other different stories of why she won't do or why she has said certain things. It always changes and it mutates after I asked her for certain things, not just for the bond, but for other things also. Okay, well, let's focus on the bond issue yeah. because you said that she's lied to you and what you've told me so far, none of that is inaccurate. So how is it, though, because I don't have any experience prior to this, I don't know the... How are you still trying to get a bond five years later? Well, you just want to live the rest of your days out on bond, you know? Just, just die while you're on bond. And just never have to deal with it. That's not going to... Come on, man. You just face the music at this point. Like, honestly, I would prefer face the music. I wouldn't want to go out on Bond. I've been here for five years. I'm comfortable. Let's just go to trial. Why the fuck would I want to go out on Bond? Just to come... Oh, my God. That just sounds... Ter that just sounds terrible. She... Man, listen. It's not going to end well for her. Uh, you, We can see what she's doing. She's trying to delay, delay, delay... She really is the white version, the white female version of Daryl Brooks, man. We're really going to see some shit. We're really going to see it because what did he do? He, he delayed as hard as he could. Same thing. She has her feet buried in the ground trying to stop this train from happening. process of getting a bond other than what I have read, and it's just for her to do a bond, a motion uh, for a bond hearing. But I didn't know that anyone, all of the other inmates, even officers, have ever said that they've had to do that process in order to have photographs taken and documented and news crews and visit to his house. He's not posting my bond, which I told her a million and one times, but she still 
spooked him by asking by him something that he's going to have to, and it would threaten his security clearance considering he's in the this, this service, the military. So she totally deterred me from having my brother's address in order for me to have a motion for a bond. No one else has even bothered to even ask me for one, and I will be honest with you and the court. I know for a fact that however sky high my limit would be for my bond to receive, I know for a fact unless my fans um, would set up GoFundMe pages or God's will or however else it is he planned on for me to have it paid, if at all. She said her fans. What the? What is wrong with her? My point is to utilize my rights to have a bond. And with the information I have included in here to you, for the amount of saturation of publicity, there's nowhere that I could go even if I were to be a in quotes flight with because of the amount of information that everybody already knows about me, what I look like, and what I eat apparently, and so many other things, there's nowhere I could go. If I were to even, even think about being a flight risk, it's just the fact that I would like please to have a bond so I can say that I actually achieved something. Yeah, you know, what they say is the difference between infamous and being famous. Ma'am, we just know the name. That's it. Ms. Boone, is there anything else you need to bring to my attention at this time? I'm grateful for your time. I was pretty for having to utilize it. But I really do hope that you review thoroughly what it is that I'm asking for from my attorney who's supposed to be representing me for the trial that's supposed to be happening in October, late September. So if you could please... I don't, I don't understand how I'm supposed to be able to go into a trial when I don't have what it is to probably defend myself. Ma'am, I will. I've asked for your submittals. I will be reviewing them. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. Thank you very much. She is disrespectful. So I, I just hope that you really read through those things and, and that you understand because I know your comprehension might be limited, sir. And, man, listen, I'll be, man, the judge, good for him. He's chill because I want to be so chill. I'd be like, ma'am. You said, man, I won't even let her talk too much. Be like, all right, shut up. Enough. Sh shut the fuck up. I'm not trying to hear from you no more. Sarah, Sarah's going to end up representing herself, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good stuff. Can't wait. She looks right at the camera. No, of course she does. It's for her fans. They need a good angle for her, for her fans.